So back in the main bedroom area, um, we already showed kind of folding out the bed when you put the slide out. Um, but just a couple other features and things to note. Um, there is a TV back here. The remote will be up in the cupboard. Um, there's also an HDMI um, cable that's up in that cupboard that will uh, run to this TV. Um, you do have a another one of those LED light switches back here. So if you turn that on, it uh, flips on the little LED strip. Again, nice for night lights. Um, also right um, below each side of the bed, there's um, little push buttons um, that can be pressed to also uh, turn on lights, which is nice while you're in bed or if you're reading. Um, there's some side windows and shades. Um, there's a standard electrical outlet over here, the same on this side. Um, and then on this side, there's also uh, a couple USB uh, ports uh, for charging. Um, also up on this wall um, are some more of those buttons that um, are available throughout the motorhome. This one only has the awning and all lights on or off, which is just kind of nice at the end of the night, you can press the all off and all lights uh, in the motor coach will, will turn off. And so back here in the, in the bedroom is just a manual uh, Max Air fan um, that has a, a turn knob to, uh, to open it up. Um, so I'll open that up now. And then there's um, a button with four speeds um, to turn this on. So this one is just manual. There's no switches um, like in some of the other um, areas um, uh, of the motor coach. All right, we're back in the extremely large bathroom. Just kidding, it's super small, but it's actually quite functional for a motor home. Uh, just a few things to explain in the bathroom. Um, there is a standard um, GFCI outlet um, that can be used, you know, for a hair dryer or something like that. Um, and then you have two switches on the wall, one for the light and then one for the fan. Now this fan switch just turns power onto the fan, which is much like a ceiling fan in a house where you have a switch to switch it on. And then you have the remote control to actually control the fan. Um, right now the fan is actually on. And if you see the remote, you can see it's on. You can actually set a temperature um, and then it shows you what the temperature is inside um, the, the remote right now. Um, but to turn off the fan, you simply press the off button and then you can hear the fan. It automatically turns off and shuts, um, which, is, which is a nice feature. Um, those can also be manually opened if needed. Um, the last thing I wanna show in this area is this is where the controller is for the water heater. Um, and as you can see, I'll turn on the light here. Um, we currently have it set for 106 degrees, which is actually an ideal temperature to just have set the entire time. It's an instant tank heater, tankless heater. So once it warms up and you start running water, and I'll turn on the water over here, um, just turned on the hot water, and you'll see it immediately kicks on. And as that, that tank heater turns on, it's going to start uh, raising the temperature. Um, and that's the temperature exiting the water heater. Um, so you'll see that it's going up and it'll get up to, you know, 105, 106. Um, and you can see that even the little flame is lit. So that's uh, adding that extra heat. And so now there's hot water coming out of the faucet. Um, so when you're taking a shower or using any of the sinks, um, that can pretty much be left on um, the entire time. Cause you can see right when I turned off the water, um, it will also um, turn off and eventually that temperature will, uh, will go back down. Thank you.